Hello and welcome. My name is Wendy Mould and I'm going to introduce you to the winners of the Christmas card art and word competition. This is Christmas card competition is an annual show that happens each December hosted by the Arts Council of Surrey at the Newton Cultural Centre. This show has an unusual twist to it. Not only are visual artists, but also authors are invited to enter. The winning visual artist will produce an image that will be used for the Christmas card that will be sent out by the Surrey Arts Council. And the writers are going to do the verse that goes inside the card. So, let's go meet these winners. So, really excited to have Helga Parek here this afternoon. She was one of our writers, and uh, her poem, Peaceful Christmas, won honorable mention. Helga, can you tell us a little bit about how your poem was inspired by Christmas and what's happening today? Well, actually, because of the pandemic, a lot of people think about that as most foremost in their mind. And the poem came because I, I wanted them to feel sort of joyful, if you can be joyful. And um, just think of spirituality and as they say, we'll get through it. You just have to stay positive. And, uh, it was the first poem actually that came into mind the words out of the three poems that we were chosen to we were allowed to present. Oh so, that's interesting. So you wrote two others, but this is the one that yes, you yes. Oh, that's yes. kind of neat. Okay, and so now you were going to sing your poem? Yes, I've been practicing and uh, I had lots of fun because uh, I was said the second verse first and I'll try not to do it this way but if I do I'll just laugh and I'll start again. Okay well let's hear your poem. Well it's called Pe Peaceful Christmas. Sing loud, sing soft, sing Silent is the night, holy is the night. That is really nice. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like the music accompaniment too, that really adds to it. Thank Very you. nice. Well, congratulations again, Kalka, on your award, and we'll look forward to hearing and seeing more of your work in the future. Thank you. Yes, thanks very much. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Ken Westrop, who was awarded honorable mention for his poem, Christmas Scenery. Ken wasn't able to join us today, but I did chat with him and he did have some comments to share with us. Ken says, when I think of Christmas, I think of Santa, snow, Christmas lights, and family get togethers, and the things that are not happening this year. Ken is a poet and has published two books of poetry with another on his way. His first was Gateway to Obscurity. Strength and Vulnerability, his second, was just published this year. It is available through his Facebook page, Passionate Poet. Ken has another poetry book coming out next year called 72. It is about his spiritual journey towards Christianity. Ken's poem, Christmas Scenery. Snow-laden boughs decorate city streets, twinkling festive lights strung across rooftops. Christmas scenery evokes certain feelings of peace and harmony. Thank you again, Ken, for your poem and congratulations on your award. Very exciting to meet Patty Holiday. She is our winning poetry writer for the Christmas card contest. So Patty, can you tell us what kind of things about Christmas inspire you? Christmas is really about the family for me. Part of the thing with the poem is my, I have twin daughters and they both grew up in the church singing. So Christmas Eve was always the time that they would sing something 
special for me. And I miss them. Don't tell them. <laughs> understand too, Patty, that uh, writing is not really your medium of choice. What is it we do like to do? I'm into yarn. Crocheting, knitting. If it's handmade, I probably made it already or tried. <laughs> cool, that's kind of neat. I like to do that kind of things myself. Mm -hmm. Now your poem, your winning poem, will also be featured in the um, special card that the Arts Council is going to be handing out as part of their mailing this year. And maybe you could take a minute and just read the poem for us, Patty? Bells are ringing, children singing, families near, Christmas is here. Oh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. <laughs> Very nice, yes. And so if you just take a look at the back to hold the card up hold over here, closer to yourself there so we can see it. Yes, me. Yes, that's <laughs> you on the back. And uh, it's kind of neat to, to see your work printed. Well, thank you very much, Patty. It was really nice to meet you, and we'll look forward to seeing some of your work in the future. Hi, well, it's really exciting to meet Samantha Dean here today. She has her picture, the Christmas Puppy which has been awarded an honorable mention. Really nice to meet you, Samantha. And would you like to tell us a little bit how your picture speaks to you about Christmas? certainly look forward to seeing your work in the future, Samantha. And again, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Pretty exciting to introduce myself in this competition. Yes, my picture, Early Snowfall, won honorable a mention in the competition. When I think of Christmas cards and Christmas, I always think about family gatherings and being out in nature. And so for me, there's a requirement that snow be in the picture. I also, as a wildlife artist, like to sneak a little bit of wildlife into it as well. This picture here, Early Snowfall, is one of the pictures that's in my series, Deep in the Forest. With my series, Deep in the Forest, I really want to take you with me on some of those walks and show you some of the special little habitats that are there, and of course, the kind of animals that you, birds that you will see. I found that this little stump, covered with moss, is very much part of our heritage, a logging heritage, in the, and so I was really wanting to feature it in a picture. This little squirrel, I saw him on some of my walks, and I decided he should be the star. So, very pleased today to uh, talk to uh, Elaine Fawn. She's uh, been awarded the honorable mention for her picture, Winter Berries in the Snow. Nice to see you, Elaine. We, we often see your work, but I don't often get to see you. Now, could you tell us a little bit about your picture and how does it speak to you about Christmas? Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, this uh, picture um, is uh, from my photograph. When we were walking um, in the South Surrey and I um, I just came upon this uh, snowy uh, place and uh, I'm quite amazed on the colors and it's red and uh, white and then blue with the sky and the river. I thought the colors really uh, inspire me because I, I'd, uh, this is a real, real place 
in South Surrey. Can you imagine that? That's just amazing. Uh, the winter berries, they grow so well there by the water. And uh, I, this, uh, this painting, I use a lot of uh, negative painting technique. So um, I actually, this uh, painting started with a black canvas. And um, I, um, I fill in the, the black with the, uh, with the uh, white and the red and the trees. Those trees are a lot of the uh, negative paintings. And, uh, and the sky, the, um, it, the original photo was uh, it's a landscape photo. I, I crop it to, um, to the... Uh, like a portrait uh, size. Well, thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> yeah, it must have been from last winter because we haven't had our snow yet this winter. And it's certainly, I love your sky too. Definitely a winter sky. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's uh, I think it was last winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Eileen. And thank it's you. It's really good to see you again. And once again, congratulations on your award. Thank you, Wendy. Well, I'm really pleased to introduce Andre Paulus, our winner this year of the uh, Christmas Card Art and Word Competition. And Andre's picture is called Playing Peekaboo. So Andre, can you tell us a little bit about your picture and, and what inspired you to do this for our Christmas Card Competition? Well, what inspired me is the Surrey Arts Gallery that uh, put out the competition. And being a lot at home lately, I decided I would attempt it. And this is a combination of two pictures. One in the trees, and the other one is the little snowman. And I had various ways of putting it together, and this was my best idea. And then after that, I said, oh, he's playing peekaboo, and that's what I called it. I really enjoyed doing it. And since I won the award, I'm really pleased that everybody are recognizing what I've done. I've had orders from friends to paint them originally and mail them to them and they're very happy to have them all. Well, that's very exciting. I love the little name that you put with it. It really does uh, convey the idea. And certainly when I look at your picture, it makes me want to smile. Oh, well, that's nice to know. <laughs> now, I just wanted you to uh, show everyone what the winning picture becomes the cover for our Spotlight magazine that's put out each month by the Surrey Arts Council, and as well, the uh, winning picture is also on a card, which is then mailed out to the mailing list for the Surrey Arts Council. So very exciting to see your work out there and uh, see it wishing everyone. And if you take a look at the back of the card, uh, you'll see too that uh, Andre's uh, name, a picture and um, name is on there as well. And uh, very exciting for you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. I was surprised to see that every magazine had a card in it as well. So that even gives us more exposure and it's really nice. Yes. I also appreciate what the young lady put in as the wording for the card. I think it's absolutely priceless. Yes. Very exciting. Well done. Yes. Well again, congratulations Andre and really nice to meet you and we'll look forward to seeing what you do for us in some of the future competitions. And I thank you so much. <laughs> Have a great day. You too. At this time, I would like to congratulate all the artists that have entered the show. Andre Paulus, Patty Holliday, Doris Biddle, Samantha Dean, Eileen Fawn, Helmut Grentorit, Juliana Laskowska, Wendy Mould, Leanne Nugan, Sharamini Paranavitana, Ken Westrop, Helga Parath. It is a pleasure to see your work and feel your passion for Christmas. A special reminder that the full show is on display in the Newton Cultural Centre Gallery by appointment only until December 13th. However, it is available online at the Arts Council website artcouncilofsurrey.ca until January the 4th, 2021.